Priceline recommendation for 40% off cosmetics tomorrow! Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm Zabi and I live in Brisbane, Australia. Today's video, <laughs> I told myself this morning on um, Insta Snor Insta Snorri? Insta Story. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I told you guys that I'm not gonna do this video because I've done it. Because I've done it so many times, but when I check my videos this morning, they all are like outdated last year or two years ago and they all are just some old products i still recommend you guys to check my other videos for price line down below so you can still see all other products which are really awesome i'm gonna go through all these products really quickly so you guys can start writing your list first one no particular order but something i would definitely recommend you guys to check this out i'm not quite sure whether this one is limited edition this is the nyx cosmetics beauty school dropout palette you basically get everything in this palette um especially for you guys who are starting out and you want great quality products without you know robbing your bank accounts so many eyeshadow colors from neutral to be of warm and cool tone and dark shades so i am wearing them as my transition shade on the top and just at the outer corner for the dark shades as well um i have a quick tutorial using this so i'm gonna link it down below and you also get three blushes which is really pretty i have it on my cheeks at the moment the highlight guys it is stunning and you've got light bronzer and a little bit deeper for me this bronzer it's quite light so i have to build it up on my skin color but if you guys are lighter than me you're gonna use the crap out of this palette for the face products but for the eyes everyone can use it so check this out guys next are primers these are some of my favorite primers um at the moment from priceline i think i have mentioned these two uh, on my previous uh priceline products which is the l'oreal magic lumi primer it's nice glowy um luminous primer this one from rimmel lasting finish primer it helps to just stick your foundation all day on your skin another one which is quite new so this one is the maybelline super stay uh, primer i am using it today underneath my foundation it just gives a nice base very nice uh, like smoothing finish um before i put foundation on so check them out i also got this when they were on sale 40 percent off last time why do we have to pay full price when we actually can get them 40 percent off. another one which i like from rimmel this is the insta flawless more like radiant perfecting primer i kind of use it sometimes just by itself as like a light tint i don't know like a tinted moisturizer kind of thing it has spf 15 i like to use it underneath my foundation so i have it also today and i am using the medium dark they have two shades light to medium and medium to dark so just a little bit like that it's a nice base for your um foundation especially when there is no spf on the foundation and this doesn't feel greasy at all next i have few foundation which i've been loving Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation. I am in the shade 40 Natural Beige. I use it almost every day um, to work because it gives such a great coverage. Um, it has SPF 20 and it is just flawless. I have it today on my skin. It just feels really nice on the skin. Next one is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous Foundation. I am in the shade 860. The color is a little bit too tan at the moment for me but I love the golden undertone on it as well as it gives a very nice luminous finish and great coverage. CoverGirl always produce a very nice foundation. I have three of them which is the Stay fabulous outlast something i love that the one in the blue cap and then one for the oily skin i quite like that one it was it was still a bit too matte for me and i love this luminous stay luminous um cover girl this one is the bourgeois healthy mix foundation this is their new formula it has vitamin c e and b5 um i think it is for like anti-aging as well as 
I don't know brightening or something like that this shade is dark beige but it's way too light for me I use it a couple of times just uh, in the center of my face to just brighten it up um, the formula of it is beautiful so I am gonna grab this tomorrow uh, for the darker shade I think it's called bronze or something like that but I am a big fan of their formula for this one I have two new concealers which I like at the moment I've been using the Master Conceal Maybelline uh, camouflaging concealer I am in the shade number 40 um, this one it's a nice kind of skin color concealer it's not much lighter for my skin so it's nice to just cover the dark uh, under eye and i like to use this bourgeois concealer bourgeois healthy mix concealer this one is much lighter shade even though it says medium i like it to just brighten up um, my under eye so i like to put this one on first and then have that to just um, lighten it up Revlon Australia and New Zealand sculpting and highlighting contour kit collaboration with Chloe Morello I adore this palette so much I hit pen on the uh, yellow shade as well as um, the contour shade so if you are medium to dark skin definitely get this one they have the lighter shade as well it comes with the banana powder highlighting powder bronzer and contour shade basically the contour shade it's still pretty warm on me you can see on my cheek it's quite warm but I don't know why I just love it I use it every day to work um, I have this on my um, makeup bag that I just quickly contour and highlight my face um, on a train another highlighting powder which I have love and hate relationship is this Australis banana powder um, I use it a lot as you can see I hit pen however you have to be careful with this because if you use it at the night event especially and you're gonna get photographed it gives horrible white cast under your eyes what i love about this it brighten up um your under eye that's why i only use it whenever i have an event at the daytime another one which i think it doesn't get much love on social media is the uh, models prefer radiance collection highlighting palette it comes with three shades of highlighter um the gold one a little bit of pinkish and more like a champagne shade in the beginning of the video you saw me uh, putting a highlight on I was mixing the gold as well as the champagne just up here and it looks stunning I have a few brow products to show you guys because you know my brows has to be on fleek first one is this Rimmel Born This Way Soft Powder um, at first I was like what the hell is this it is so weird it comes out like that and it's more it's not gel not liquid or anything it is a powder life-changing products for me for going to work because I'm always in hurry in the morning and then I put this on just quickly um, in a train just to cover my brows up and it's done if you love a good brow powders I have two products which I am loving it um, this is the Natio brow kit dark brown and medium brown shade the dark brown is perfect for me um, that's what I use at the arch of my brows and then just to sharpen up my brows this one is the L'Oreal uh, brow artist genius kit I am in the shade medium to dark love this for on the go because it comes with a small brush I can just quickly do my makeup next are eyeliners um if you've been following me for a while you know I don't use lots of eyeliners because number one I suck at it second I don't know I still have time for eyeliners this eyeliner is by Maybelline Hyper Sharp wing liner I have it just a little bit at the outer corner it gives such a nice sharp lines for the wings Rimmel London waterproof eyeliner this one is in the skin tone shade that I use it just on my water up water line I have new love hate mascara this one is volume shake Rimmel London mascara you actually have to shake it before you use it um, this is the reason I'm not wearing lashes today because I want you guys to come close how good this mascara give some life to my tiny Asian lashes however the downsides of this um, it's much 
a lot under my eyes so i use a couple of times for work at the end of the day even midday it goes down here so just letting you know this only happen most of the time to me because whatever mascara i use it just smudges these single cream eyeshadows are from australis i have the olivey color on the outer corner and then the goldish one in the inner corner these are the swatches for the two shades the olive color it's called jz and the gold one it's called gold gaga it's more kind of like a champagne gold which is really pretty so yeah i want to see what other shades they've got this time so i can grab them more new lip colors which i have been loving it so much they are from nyx cosmetic these two are the lingerie collection this one is called exotic very popular and another one a little bit lighter more nudie shade it's, it's called ruffle trim i have the exotic on my lid another one which i like is this nyx liquid suede it, i'm gonna add this on the top of my liquid lipstick so you can see how it looks it has a little bit more brownish tone on it it is a beautiful shade so yeah i promise it will be a quick video but i guess it will be more than 10 minutes i will try to cut as much as i can but i hope you guys enjoy it check out my other price line videos i will link it up here um for other recommendations thank you guys so much for watching subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time bye beautiful